Well, hello there. Welcome back to this one last call. So, today I just decided we're gonna do a nice and easy drink. Uh, I'm gonna do some whiskey sours just because I feel like doing whiskey sours. Uh, sometimes you just feel like throwing in some easy episodes. <laughs> um, so, there are three different ways to make this drink, kind of, and I'm gonna do two because the first one is extremely easy. The first one is just go get yourself some pre made sour mix and some whiskey. Mix them together in some portion that you like. Not really worth demonstrating. Uh, but we are going to do the two other ones. So, for the first variation of the sour, whiskey sour, you're going to start with your whiskey. One and three quarters. Just shy of two ounces. You do one ounce of lemon juice. And a half an ounce of simple syrup. This is my own homemade one. Easy enough to make. One to one ratio of sugar and water. Boil it, stir it, cool it, put it in the bottle. These are very easy to find bottles. These are actually at my uh, my local Publix. Um, I'm sure you can find it nearly any grocery store in the world, some form of this. Um, but they're very handy dandy bottles. You can put anything you want in them. They have a nice little latch top. Fine. Or if you want it, if you like Grosch beer, you could drink those and reuse the bottles. That's an old uh, home brewing trick. But I suppose it would apply to uh, things like this as well. Anyways, you take that. It's all, it's all over ice, by the way. And you're going to shake it up. And then, you can pour it in the glass. You can do it over ice if you wanted. You don't need to. Personally, I think a drink glass doesn't really need ice to it. Now, that's pretty much it. However, I do happen to like using some cherries on mine. So I have to draw mine in. And add a little juice. Give it a taste. That's good. That's a very straightforward uh, whiskey drink. If you want something a little likes to it and not like as weak as like a, a whiskey coke, uh, I would say do this. Whiskey showers are delicious. They are a little bit acid, acidy, acidy. Uh, so if you have a few of them, sometimes it's hard on your stomach, but uh, still it's very delicious. Um, I'm using the Jim Beam bonded bourbon. Uh, I've been trying to get into the bottled and bond bourbons because uh, it's really fun to say. Um, but outside of that, uh, I had the uh, Old Forester one the other day and that was very, very good. This one, it's meh, but uh, it's fine. It's drinkable. It's tasty. I don't really taste much difference between that and, uh, and regular Jim Beam. I'm not a big fan of Jim Beam anyways, but it did kind of throw me because Old Forester is typically a uh, have a cheaper bourbon anyway. It's supposed to be you know, more for just like mixed drinks and then just like a quality cocktail uh, spirit. So, interesting. Mm. Good drink. Uh, again, a little bit on the acidy side, but wonderfully delicious. So, we move on to the next one pretty soon here. Where we're actually going to do Similar recipe where we're going to add a white to it. We're going to do a dry shake and we'll garnish it a little bit differently. Uh, so let me just finish this up. Ah, all gone. Okay. So, next version, we're going to do it's called the Everly. Uh, he was named Everly Hotel, is where it became popular. Uh, and it's a little bit different. It adds some egg whites to it, uh, which you may not be a fan of. Can't blame you if you don't want to, you know, consume raw product. Uh, I'm just gonna use egg white, about an ounce for one egg, uh, or you can use an actual egg. It's up to you. Uh, but with this one, we're not gonna put any ice in your shaker. You're gonna dry shake it first, so don't put ice in your shaker when you do this. The reason for that is because when you shake it first time, when it's dry. Uh, it will emulsify the egg uh, and allow it to mix a little bit better, and it will create a thick foam, which is part of the presentation of this drink have like this foamy uh, cap to it. 
Uh, and then on top of that, you're going to put a little bit of pink shades on it and make it look just beautiful. Uh, or you can do your cherry juice. I'll probably do the cherry juice. Might do both. I don't know. Anyways, so for this one, you're going to do two ounces of bourbon because uh, adding that egg to it changes the flavor a little bit. Uh, it makes it thicker. Obviously, the ratio will be more in favor of the non alcoholic ingredients. And if you want to taste your drink, you'll want to go a little higher on the alcohol content. Two ounces. There you go. Equal parts for your lemon juice and sour mix. And you gotta go three quarters and three quarters. Sour mix. Simple syrup. And your egg white. Again, you can crack an egg and remove the white. I find this just to be a little easier. And it's about one ounce is what they say that should be the volume for single leg. Now, a word of warning. When I do this, for some reason, gas tends to build up in the, in the shaker when I shake it. Uh, so be careful with that. Make sure you have a firm grip on it. Make sure you shake it very well. And maybe uh, if you're using one of these guys, take the top off first uh, after you're done shaking it instead of just taking the whole, whole cap off because uh, it will kind of explode. <laughs> but we're going to do this. Make sure it's nice and tight. Alrighty. So once you got that done, you can probably see in there there's a whole lot of foam. Um, then you're going to throw your ice in and your shake again. Uh, you got your ice in there, it's going to cool it down and it shouldn't explode on you this time, so you should be a little too bigger to shake again. Alright, so once you got that, pretty much done with the drink. Take a pre chilled glass. Again, don't really want to serve this one over ice. Still a lot of foam left in there. As you can see, again, there's a ton of foam on that. It's got a very fluffy head. And with that, uh, again, you can do two things. You can, you know, make little strips of, uh, of the, of the, make it little strips with Angostura. Oh, that's the orange bitters. Make little stripes with Angostura, or dots, however you like. And you saw some cherries. I got my bourbon cherries now, the good ones. Makes people easy. So you just, you know, dab it on there. And if I were more talented, I could do like latte art, but I'm not, so there you go. Anyways, cheers. Yeah, this version is, I might say a lot better. It's definitely a whole different drink. You add the egg white in there, and you put the little Angostura on top. It changes everything. It is completely different. Uh, that is just, you know, it's good, but it's very sour, it's very acidic. Uh, this one is a much easier drinking drink. Mm. Despite having more alcohol. Um, that's because the concentration isn't quite as high. Um, but also, in the acid. You have a little bit less li uh, lemon juice. And you're equalizing with the simple syrup. And you're adding the egg white. So it's not so harsh as far as the acid is concerned on your throat and on your stomach. So, uh, good change. Um, it is thicker though very thick and it kind of clings to your, your, your roof and your mouth. So there's upsides and downsides. Mm. But it's delicious. This one's really good. Um, so that's going to do it. Um, two simple drinks. Very easy to make. Uh, basically the same kind of drink but vastly different. Um, both worth trying. Both worth doing. Uh, and you know if you just don't feel like messing around with the egg whites then regular whiskey sour is fine. Good drinks. Better than the bourbon you put into it too. Uh, or whiskey, if you want. Or rye, if you want. Anything. Anyways, that's going to do it again. Uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, be sure to uh, follow us on the socials on the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram. Uh, check out our link tree at linktree.e slash this one last. Um, check out the podcast on Podbean, Spotify, uh, Apple Music, iTunes, that's the one. 
Uh, anyways, all those different ones. Where fine podcasts are available. Um, also check us out. Uh, we have a uh, partnership with brightswimmer.com. Uh, if you go on to brightswimmer.com, uh, you put in the code TWL25. Um, when you check out, then you can get 25% off your order. So if you're in the market for some nice swimwear, uh, check it out at brightswimmer.com. Code TWL25. They're a company out of Sweden, and they make swimwear for the every person. Quality swimwear. Luxury swimwear. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, hope to see you on the next episode. Bye!